Our Ryan Neese covering the Sacramento Mountain Lions angle for us tonight. Let's go to him for this report. We just heard from Danny Green. Coach Green just gave an inspirational message. The guys, the players understand the intensity of this game. They know the magnitude. This is a must-win situation. They got to go out, play hard, play intense. Everybody's accountable in this situation. This is a big game. The Coach Green knows it. It's going to be an exciting night of football. I can't wait to watch. Bruce Gradkowski, Oakland Raiders quarterback. You're out here kissing babies, signing autographs, taking a lot of pictures. Why are you out here tonight? Uh, just to see this game, you know, see my buddy Jeff Garcia and, and other uh, guys I played with, you know, on Omaha, also Sacramento. And it's just awesome to get out here tonight and see guys getting an opportunity. You know, that's what this is about is just getting another opportunity any way you can to play some football. This is your first chance to come to a UFO game. What's your thought of the talent that you're seeing here tonight? I mean, the talent's no issue. You know, there's talent all over this field, and, and that's what's exciting to see. Now, your buddy Jeff Garcia just took a sack. They're down right now. What would you be telling him? I know he mentored you in, in Tampa. What would be the message you'd give him tonight? Well, Jeff's Jeff's one of the best competitors I know. And, uh, you know, I know this is tough for him right now, but you just got to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and take one play at a time. You can't try to just get it all back with one play. And he knows that. I'm here with defensive star Zeke Marino. Zeke, that was an excellent play. Talk about that strip. Well, first of all, I'm just one of 11 guys out there just contributing and just did a great job of just running to the ball. The guys held them up, give me an opportunity to get my arm in there and strip the ball out. And, you know, that's what we need right now. We need to, you know, shut them down and, and uh, just don't give them no momentum to get back in the game. Now, it's important for the young guys out there to know you got to secure the tackle first before you go for the strip, right? Well, we learned the hard way. You know, the last couple of weeks we had a uh, poor execution on tackling and, uh, you know, this made up for it. Tyson DeVry made a great catch. He said his prayers on that Hail Mary. Walk me through that play. Is that how you guys draw it up? That's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly how we draw it up. Uh, we practice it every day in practice at the end of the at the end of practice. So worked out, said my prayers, worked out well. Now step toes behind you. You're yeah. six foot six. You out jumped them and you went up and made a great play. Talk, talk me through that situation. I told them to be ready for the tip, but I decided to go up and get it myself. For more on this victory, let's go down to our Ryan Nees. Greg, you're right. It was a tough year for the Colonials, but they finished strong. Josh, you got to be happy with tonight's performance. Absolutely. I mean, this is a pretty cool team effort. You know what I mean? You get two scores from the defense. Uh, offense did our thing, got a big one at the, at the end of the half. And so, uh, you know, we, we feel good about it. And it's, it's good to go out kind of the way we came in, 27 points, and, and with a victory and hopefully build some momentum for this franchise next year. Now, you had a chance to throw a Hail Mary pass to, to end the half. Yeah. How did that feel? Oh, it was cool. You know, it, I think my part's the easiest part. Tyson DeRee made a, a heck of a play. Of course, Ryan Nees joining us again, our partner in crime this week. Good to see you, man. Absolutely. Good to see you. Before we get to the fun stuff, let's talk about this game. Obviously, Steelers, Cardinals, they had their practices this week. What are they going through right now? What's going through these guys' mind three days before the big game? You know, obviously, it's Wednesday. So Wednesday's a, a big day, big preparation day. You're really trying to implement your game plan, really trying to, to get settled on what the X's and O's are going to be because once you got that settled, now that's going to carry you through the rest of the week. So right now, they're trying to take away the chaos, yeah. the distractions, the tickets, the family, the media, all of those things, focus on the game plan and build the foundation for the rest of the week cut to come. Let's start with the Steelers. Obviously, uh, this week, they've been concentrating on getting – couple of their stars healthy. Ben Roethlisberger, of course, got hit in the back and the uh, hard, pretty hard in the AFC Championship game. So he's right. been kind of dealing with that this week. And then Heinz Ward got uh, injured, injured his knee in that game, his, uh, his right knee. Um, what are your thoughts right now on the Steelers? Are those, they said those guys, are, Mike Tomlin said those guys are going to play this week. What are your thoughts so far on the Steelers? Absolutely. Those guys are definitely going to play. I mean, those, those are your two big time guys. Those are your leaders. Those are your captains. Those are guys that are kind of your go-to players. And the team's going to rally behind them. They've had two weeks to kind of prepare rest their bodies. They did get banged up. You know, obviously that's part of the game, but they have a, probably a great training staff. They've done everything they can to get these guys on, on the field, and it's a Super Bowl. I mean, I, I've seen guys play with broken legs before in a preseason game, so for the Super Bowl, I'm telling these guys are going to play with all kinds of injuries. Talk to me about uh, Raheem. Obviously, uh, Ryan, has been a lot of talk that, hey, maybe this he's not ready to be head coach, maybe a little too young. What are your thoughts on Raheem Morris? You know, Coach Morris is a young guy. He's, he's energetic, but you just saw him in that interview. Very calm, very cool, kind of has his words in order, knows what he needs to say, and he's had great mentors. So I got a lot of faith in him that, that those mentors taught him a lot of really important things to be a head coach, and what a better mentor than, than, than Coach Tomlin. He had uh, Rod Marinelli at one time. He had these guys that have all been head coaches and have influenced him in a positive way. So I'm excited to see how he's going to carry himself with the team. You know, growing up, my father played in, in the NFL, and I was fortunate enough to watch him. So football has always been a part of my life. 
And, uh, you know, my dad wanted me to play tennis and my mom wanted me to play golf, but football was in me. Once I started playing in high school and started to excel there, earned a college scholarship and uh, ended up going to the Buccaneers, it wasn't an easy road. I was an undrafted guy. Um, and usually undrafted guys are just kind of brought into camp to kind of be tackling dummies. I was fortunate enough to make the team and we had, that was our Super Bowl year and it was a great run. And each year I've continued to kind of use that as a motivation and continue to prove that I deserve to play in this league and play at a high level. It gives you an unbelievable platform to be able to speak out and help others. I'm thankful for the ability to, to live out that dream. Ryan Deese's bone-crushing hit on Dallas Clark last week in Indianapolis impressed defensive coordinator Joe Barry so much, he showed it seven times during Monday's film session. Anytime that you can hit somebody like that and uh, hit a guy like, you know, Dallas Clark, it uh, makes you feel good inside. Get out my way and watch out as I come through. But when your father is Hall of Fame safety Ronnie Lott, hits like that don't always garner the same praise from home. He was like, oh, that, was, that was a good hit. I was like, well, that, was it a good hit or was it a great hit? Oh, it was a good hit. It was a good hit. You know, you could have brought your feet a little bit more and then it might have been great.